Hi, I present today the coffee machine La Piccola from the Italian company Piccola. The La Piccola uses paper pots for its coffee produce. The Aze pots are small packed coffee pots with a paper filter covering for use in a non-grinding espresso machine like the La Piccola. Each Aze pot contains 7 grams of coffee compressed into filter pots with a 44 mm diameter. Coffee for the Aze system is produced by renowned coffee roasters with a long tradition from all over Italy. And this is an essential unique selling proposition of this system that sets it apart from the competition. You can get coffee from famous producers like Borbone, Lollo Cafe, Saghi, Molinari, B1870, which is a solid espresso in my daily driver and comes for only 18 cents per serving, and many, many more. The La Piccola is made of stainless steel and therefore heavy. Due to its small size and compactness, it is still easy to handle. It has a main switch at the back and a switch at the top to start and stop the water flow. The machine is fully manually controlled. The water container is made of glass and underlines the high quality of workmanship. Below the machine there is a pull-out drip tray for the discharged water. So let's make a cup of espresso. Here I use a serving of Borbone Oro, which tastes very good. The La Piccola needs two minutes to heat up, according to the manufacturer's instructions. I recommend five minutes and to rinse briefly after warming up. This heats up the machine completely. What I noticed right away is that the coffee is really hot. So the machine produces a high heat and that should be the case. Push the lever firmly to the stop and start the water flow by pressing the button. Press the button again to stop. And here we go. So far the facts, but at this point a short and important disclaimer. What follows now represents my personal opinion and is not sponsored or influenced in any way. It is simply the excitement of having finally found the right coffee system for myself. And that's what I want to share. In the past I owned many of the capsule systems known today. None of them even comes close to the quality and taste of Aze pads. In addition, an increasing number of people are concerned about the use of aluminium and plastic in the capsules. So do I. With Aze, paper is used that is recyclable. I also own the filter holder espresso machine with a separate mill. This coffee was usually very good after a training period, but it was complicated took longer and produced a mess. I have only owned the La Piccola for three months now, but I am already convinced and very happy with the coffee I enjoy every day. So in this regard, the advantages of the La Piccola include convenience, speed of preparation, easy cleaning, less waste of coffee grounds, and foremost, consistency of taste. The disadvantages are mainly the pouch packaging film as the main waste. The paper fiber doesn't really count because it's easily degradable. A further disadvantage might be for some that it's fully manually controlled. Known issues with La Piccola which I found online are problems caused by overheating. A friend of mine uses the La Piccola at his office. Once on a Friday they forgot to turn the machine off and when they returned on Monday it was broken and had to be repaired due to overheating. 
so bear in mind to turn off after usage. For a small household with up to 10 cups of coffee a day, I think this is the best solution. I highly suggest you try this little beast and I'm pretty sure you fall in love with it. Thanks for watching and please don't subscribe because there will be simply no follow up. Have a good one.